I needed a little uh, plain air painting kit to take with me, and so I decided to be uh, creative. I took some books, I took the pages out. They were terrible books, so it wasn't a loss. And then I decided to cover the book uh, with some of my acrylic pores that I had to sacrifice in order to do this. You don't have to cover the book in order to make this plain air kit, but I liked doing so, and so I did. Um, and one of the things that you want to make sure you do is reinforce the spine because you had to take that out when you tore the pages out of the book. So um, I covered the front and back of this using some double-sided tape and several of my pores were sacrificed for this, uh, this adventure or for this plein air kit because not I didn't have one pore that I wanted to let go of that would fit the whole thing. Um, so um, I used uh, four different pores that were less than like wonderful. Two on the outside cover, two on the inside cover, and then I used some um, uh, duct tape to wrap around the spine before I wrapped that with um, a stretchy cord so that I could insert some paper inside. You can just slip the folded paper um, underneath the string that's on inside the book and it will uh, make another little booklet or sketchbook for you. Able to put a little watercolor book inside the front cover. This was a uh, watercolor booklet that I made some time ago. Add some uh, colored pencils some uh, watercolor paints and some brushes inside, a palette on the outside, and I even put my um, ink tents pins on the back of this book and secured it all with another stretchy cord. I'm ready to paint. I had so much fun making this. And I like it so much that I think I'm going to make another one, especially um, custom made to fit my acrylic paints. Let me know if you try it.